Welcome everyone, this is Jay Wong here, and today we've got a lot of things to do. So today, um, I'm going to be installing a cool stair system to our thing, and we're going to also uh, show what I've done since I've been on the cube recently. Um, but first, um, I think is coming to go visit me, so we're going to check that out and see what he has to say. Hey guys, it's Jay Wong here, and um, we got Grazer MC over here to come and uh, look at this house that I have. He actually has no idea where my house is. He thinks this is my house. What do you Jay think, Wong. Yeah, dude, we're on top of a mountain here, <laughs> and uh, you joined the cube not too long ago. Yeah. And you're like this mysterious person. I haven't had the chance to collab with you even once yet so no. i was like bro i need to find out where you're up what you're up to on the server <laughs> yeah dude let's uh let's get a tour around here so this is your house right here right this nah one. you're not even close this is just the entrance of um my portal um i actually have my house somewhere else i'll actually show you where it is um, oh, so, so did we start at the wrong place no actually uh <laughs> okay. we're not even so far off it's actually a little bit down here actually Okay. So is it like a, a physical big house or is it like underground or something? It, like it's kind of like a little cave oh, that you can go here. See, notice okay. this pleasure plates. So what you can do here is it actually this opens up like that. And okay. also uh, another thing we have right here is Whoa. lights. We actually have working okay, lights on yeah. this house. It got all dark and I was <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it turns off and you're like, whoa, it's dark and spooky in here. And then when you yeah. turn that on, it's like, wow, lights. Um, so that's what I plan to do is install lights for this entire area and um, It's not really finished yet, but we've added uh, a little staircase right here and we've wait who worked on this um Oh wait myself and I that's who I've worked on <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> I'm probably right. gonna get Bayani to work this out. It's a little bit um not it's a little bit uh Basic, as you can say right now. Yeah, yeah. I heard Bayani is uh, starting up the Kiani thing enterprises. So the Kiani enterprises, there. eh? Whatever that means. It's a joint venture between Bayani and King Tong. So we'll see how that goes. So like, so this is this is your furnace room then, right? Yeah, this is gonna be like all this stuff where I put like my smelting and stuff in. <gasps> it. Wow, dude, you have a lot of lapis in here. Can I can I buy that from you? How much would you sell um, for that lapis? Just for you, Grazer. I'll do three ingots. Okay, so do you have an ender chest around? Uh, no, actually I don't. Oh, okay, how about this? I give you an IOU. Okay. Um, I'll drop three ingots off at your house later yeah. on. I'll take the lapis now, and that's for all the lapis, right? Yeah, or yeah, the all the lapis you can have for three ingots. All right, sweet, dude. Look, no one ever uses lapis, so I like to buy it and hoard it for my own shop Woo! where no one actually buys it from. So it's, sweet. it's really, it's a smart business move. Yeah, it is, uh, it is. So what are the actually no i can just take your nether portal down to come back here mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah you you live kind of medium-ish out you live farther out than i am where do you live i live at like a thousand three hundred you're at two thousand about yeah yeah, yeah. i live really far i i just was trying to find the extreme hills biome and this is the farthest i could find it are you around anybody um like, no check to see if anyone lives actually you? actually yes if i go farther down there's a mesa over there and i think stacy lives there Oh really? You live near Stacy? Yeah, I live nice. near Stacy. So like, I just actually was walking around once, and I found a mesa. I was like, "Hmm, is anyone live here?" And then I saw her landmark. Oh yeah, dude. There's only been one known mesa on the server. Yeah, so, far. so it's it's definitely hers. I was walking around. I thought this was like a new mesa, but no, it wasn't. It was Stacy's because I saw her landmark there, and I was like, "Ooh, Stacy lives right, here." Right. Right. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. I will come back to your house and drop off three gold ingots. Are For you sure. sure. You don't have an ender chest? No, no I don't. I okay. gotta make one later. Alright, well, I'll see you later. Yeah, Bye. see ya! Now, that was a long time ago that Grazer visited me. And, um, recently I've just been on the cube. Uh, mostly because I've been trying to work the schedule around with UHC. And trying to get other videos out there as well. So, um, right now, um, I've actually worked a little bit on the cube since then. And it's pretty interesting of what we have recently updated. All right, so um, I've actually improved my tunnel. Um, instead of it being like some risky place to get to my house, it's actually pretty safe now. Um, basically, I've made it so it's three across and trying to make it as high as I can. But for the most part, it's pretty uh, even and pretty uh, balanced out. Um, now, my plan for making this uh, tunnel even better is actually adding a rail system straight to my house. And then, as a bonus for doing that, I think what I want to do is put detector rails on certain um, sections and then what it would do, it would light up some areas when it passes by that area. So like, say for example, you pass through a detector rail and it lights up that area because the rail cart 
goes through it and it's like you're lighting your way to the place um if you don't understand what that means i'll actually try constructing it later and maybe you guys would actually see how cool it is but right now um i'm really excited that i built my tunnel system a lot more cleaner than it was and so people that uh come near here can actually uh, uh visit with confidence with safety and um hopefully the pigmen don't attack me you know they only attack when you attack them um, so all I need to do is put a sign right here. So I'm going to be right back and get some uh, wood and we'll go from there. Alright, so now we got some signs ready to go. So what I'm going to do is put my name on it saying uh, J Wong's Nether Tunnel on the left. And I'll also put it on the right as well saying J Wong's Nether Tunnel. And there. Now we got signs up. Boom. Alright, so since there's the third sign that you make when you make a sign, um, you I should probably make this to you. So a lot of people don't know that this is not my house and that this downstairs is just a mine. Actually, you know what? Let's cover this right now so we don't get people confused. That is not part of my thing. So what we're going to do is make it so that the sign says my actual house is on the right down below. And so that way when people enter they realize that uh my house is not actually here this is not my house guys um i'm planning in the future to maybe connect it to my uh secret thing down here but right now we're not doing that at the moment so we'll probably do that later all right so grazer left a sign saying check chest inside building for the iou love grazer so we're gonna open this thing right here inside building oh it looks like he left three gold ingots just like he said back in the video so thanks grazer i love you so much thank you for uh taking my uh lapis that i probably won't be using often mostly because i don't have a lot to enchant so thank you all right so we're going to temporarily address a current situation we keep bumping our head when we're going down these stairs that is something that's a no-no guys we do not want to uh, uh have our head get bumped from walking down these stairs so we're going to uh, chip away at these uh, pickaxe with my pickaxe and we're gonna get rid of all these annoying like little uh, Things that bump your head when you jump every time so let's go here Keep chipping away until we get to the bottom because you know the bottoms where it's at and also The bottom is where I mine. So yeah, there we go All right, so I haven't really made a video in a while, but basically what I've been doing here recently is um, if you see here, I'm doing strip mining and what I'm doing is trying to mine as much as I can around here And so as you can see right now, I'm in extreme hills, but I've actually found diamonds here So um, I proved my own uh, myth to be false. There is actually diamonds here and emeralds So it's like you get a best of both worlds So it's kind of cool that you can uh, mine both of those and uh, get all that kind of good stuff All right, so right here. I'm gonna start um Mining all the way down and making this um, have stairs because I think having stairs here would be a lot faster. As for having an elevator, well, we'll have to wait till a little later on. Mostly because elevators, as I know, I actually did some uh, research into them. They take a lot of slimes and a lot of like precision and research, and that could be an entire episode because. I really don't want to miss any details, especially when most of you guys want to see me do that process. So um, that might be another episode, but right now we're going to just do something a lot basic so that people, so I can get back and forth a lot easier and it's a lot more simple. Building stairs like this would probably be good for now, but in the meantime, in, and when I have an elevator, it's n not going to uh, be something I'm going to be too worried about. So in other words, I'm just gonna have this here just for now, and later I'll probably put some stairs down. So, um, stairs aren't really hard to make. It's not really anything too hard. Just to place some stairs down here like this, and it's basically gonna make it a lot easier for people to get up and down instead of jumping up and down, jumping up and down, and then expecting a, expecting to get to places. Not really the fun way. It's actually kind of annoying just jumping up and down and expecting to get there from point A to point B. Actually, it's kind of a little, uh, you have to be like a kangaroo in order to enjoy doing that. And I don't think anyone on the cube right now is a kangaroo. Um, unless they know someone that's a kangaroo and practice their uh, 
whatchamacallit, practice their lifestyle. Yeah, that's what you could say. So, it's gonna take not too long to really make this. I'm probably gonna add a lot more better staircases, like a better lighting, I should say. And that will help make that improved. But for now, we're just gonna be really basic and make these stairs that go to my mine shaft all the way down. Now, my mine shaft is kinda well worked on. There's a lot of, I haven't really done much mining yet, but if you've seen it, it's basically, um, it's just strip mining where I just like mine in a straight line and hopefully expect to get stuff. And so we're gonna go here and just do this actually first. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. We're gonna just mine all the way down like this so that I can place the stairs right after. And then so this will make it so much easier just to place those stairs and make uh, right clicking a lot easier. So we're gonna go here, right, oops. We're gonna go here and right click this and keep doing this till we get back all the way up. Now this is easy as it looks because it's not difficult whatsoever to do. Um, but doing redstone contraptions like the elevator is a little bit harder. So in the meantime, we're gonna do it like this and keep doing this till we get all the way up. Actually, I was looking up on YouTube how to do one of these uh, elevators and one of the elevators was like you basically go on a boat and the boat launches you up and I thought that was really cool but apparently they fixed that so you can't do that anymore and that womps because uh, I actually really wanted to do a, like a little thing where the boat launches you into the sky and then like a little like spire net um, catches you but the thing was that since it's fixed you can't do it anymore so um I think it was originally supposed to be a bug, but we're, I'm not really sure, so whatever, by all means, um, I wish they had that in anyways. So we finished that staircase, and the next thing we're going to do is try and um, make this thing have piston doors op that open around and like make this really cool. So um, this is going to require a lot of sticky pistons, and I hopefully have enough iron to do this. So I have 32 iron. We probably need more than 32 to make this happen, so um, we're going to be right back and get some more iron, so hold on a second. Alright, so here's the challenge. What I'm going to do is make it so that these stairs are lowered um, when off, and they'll raise up when on. So what I'm going to do first is um, we're going to go underneath here and probably start putting these pistons down, because that's the first thing we need to do in order to make this happen. So what we're going to do is start digging, and start digging until we see, like, each set of stairs will so go like this. So that's the second set. We keep doing this until we see the last set of stairs and then we'll start putting pistons down. So yeah, this is gonna be a little tricky because there's not a lot of room to work with and not also to mention. There's not a, um, I don't have a lot of resources so if I screw something up um, and if it breaks, I don't, I won't be able to replace it until later on so what we gotta do now is at least try and get all this stuff down and ready to go so that we can uh, start placing stuff down and uh, get a little bit excited. So let's just, we're almost there, I think, from the looks of it. So let's go up here. And is this the last one? No, it's not. I gotta keep putting these torches down so I can see. And also, as well, we're gonna put lights on the side too. All right, so we've reached the top. So this is how it's gonna work. Um. All right, so we're gonna take these sticky pistons right here. Hopefully there's enough sticky pistons. Oh, we need, also need to make the rest of these sticky. So what we're gonna do here is right click this thing and put the stickies on here like this. Now we got 32 sticky pistons. I think that's enough. If there isn't, we'll make more. But what we're, what's gonna happen is this is gonna go up one a little and then it's gonna keep going up. And so let's see, we're gonna go here and we're going to, oh no, this is gonna be the hard part, placing them down. Actually, if we're gonna do this, let's go like this. So put that there and put that there. And what we're gonna do is place it so it's like this. And then we place the other one like this. There we go. And we're gonna keep repeating this until we get all of them. So we're gonna go like this and then go like this. And we're gonna keep doing this until we're done. Now. This might be hard to figure out because it's a lot of a lot of uh, thinking for this, and I haven't thought a lot since uh, since this 
I haven't been to university yet, and that's coming around the corner. So I'm not I'm not in the thinking mood. I'm still in the summer mood when it comes to doing these uh, contraptions. And so like using my brain right now kind of hurts. It's a little it's a little achy breaky. So I'm gonna go here again and try and put these things down and put them nice and sound. And it looks like this shouldn't be too hard um, from the looks of it. But it's just gonna be a repetitive process if you know what I mean. Um, I'm gonna be there's gonna be a lot of me just going like this place that down and We're gonna keep doing this until um, we reach the top So I'm gonna jump cut to when I reach the top and then we'll go from there But I think you guys get the idea of what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, boom boom So we've got all the stairs down and now the next thing we have to do is wire this all together so um, what we're gonna probably do is um, get this all back to shape like this and from here, we're gonna try and make these wires connected. So in order to connect these wires, we need to get to the uh, pistons and have redstone go on them. So let's go here, dig all the way down and s expose every single one of these uh, pistons. So let's go here and there you go. So um, I'm gonna get my uh, redstone dust, which we're gonna get from here and from here, what we're gonna do is start building our way up. So um, what we're gonna do is first find the first uh, set of pistons. So that first one's down here. And from here, we're gonna get my uh, smooth stone just to make things equal. And uh, we're gonna right click this. And we're gonna tr build, bring this all the way up here. Now we might run out or like the redstone like receptor might uh, die out at some point. So we might have to make a repeater. Um, but from now we're just gonna test this out and see what happens. So I'm gonna bring this all the way up here And let's see I'm gonna get this and Let's get a switch now. We're gonna find where this how to make a switch um, To make a switch you have to go here and We don't even have any cobblestone. So we need to make some cobblestone first Let's go here Put this in here. We don't need 64 stacks and oh wait that's my silk touch pickaxe whoops uh let's go here and make a cobblestone and now from here we're gonna make a switch so let's go here and he where did my cobblestone go oh wait i just saw it i saw it uh here we go boom boom there all right so we're gonna, what the test is gonna do is figure out what will happen when I flick this switch nothing okay that was actually unexpected so that means that this current isn't actually directly connecting it it's like an indirect current so it's like an indirect tweet like it, you're trying to get to the person without talking to them but you're not actually talking to them because you're indirecting them so the person actually doesn't see it unless they uh, they search their name then they might get some unpleasant replies so what we're gonna do here is then mine underneath it because I think that's what we got to do we're gonna mine underneath it and hopefully this will uh, allow the current to get through and connect to it if it doesn't well then we're up for some bad luck unfortunately so let's just tr good way to test this out it's going all the way back up here um, uh, let's see I'm trying to think here ah oh, okay so let's go here place this down as a test and let's see what this does all right so that puts down the first one but what happens if you go here and place this oh here we go run and roll so we can make staircase all the way down place it one like that boom and we'll get the current connected See, that's what I like about doing these redstone contraptions is all trial and error. And when you try and error all these, it feels so much like you've accomplished something once you do it. Um, so yeah, that's why I like doing these redstone currents like this. Oh, this is so fun. Um, you could put, put this down, put this down. Oh, I didn't know that's how you did it like that. But that's kind of cool to know that that's the characteristics of that. So let's go here. Looks like my redstone current's dying. But we're able to get all of that just in time. You can tell right here it's starting to fade out. So if I actually need to, I might have to add a repeater somewhere. 
But for now, we're gonna just leave it as is, and we're gonna move to and we're gonna do the same for the other side. So I'm just gonna skip, cut, jump through that because it does exactly the same thing. All right, so change of plans because what happens is that uh, redstone works in a funny way. You can't actually put it side by side each other, or else the pistons won't recognize each other. So what we're gonna do is make so that they actually come from horizontal instead of vertical. So what we're gonna, so what I mean by that is that the piston will pop up here, the stereo case will. The stairs will rise out and then from there you can just climb down the stairs I didn't expect that it had that strange mechanic to it but it turns out it does so um, we're gonna go like this and this is what we're gonna do we go here and now the pistons gonna be faced in such a way that it's gonna be facing towards and then the stair should be able to retract back and forth oh, don't quote me on this but fingers crossed um, so let's go here and let's put the stair this way and let's turn it off see if it brings it in uh, okay so it looks like the current is dead and for some reason the piston is still retracted very interesting uh, let's try this again so put that there there and then yeah it does it does retract so it does work that's very very exciting so we're gonna do keep doing that um, all the way down here and all the way up and we'll get back to it once we're done alright so I got a little carried away and but I actually finished how the lighting should work so um, if I turn this off this will be really dark but when I flick this on all the lights come on and it's not the world's greatest design but it's pretty cool that like a whole bunch of lights turn on once you have it off so people will know if um, the stairs are off and people will know if the stairs are on so this is a good indicator of figuring that out and I think it's pretty cool um, one other thing I probably have to add later is if I step on this um, there should be like a pair of pistons that open and close but that's not really a big deal right now just having that there is pretty dang cool alright so this is gonna be the last video I'm gonna be working mainly on the house because I plan to do more than just that now I plan to um expand and make a shop because I need to make revenue on the cube and that's how uh, business works around here so um, next episode stay tuned for me building a shop and you'll be surprised what I'm gonna be working on so if you guys like this video make sure you give it a like and if you wanna stay for more content make sure you subscribe and as always have a great day please see you guys later yeah.